Hey YouTube, Barnyard Engineering back again, starting off a new project. Um, I was on the uh, RV.net uh, forums here a couple weeks ago and I saw somebody, I don't know if he was advertising or just pointing it out, but kind of a neat new uh, product. Well, maybe it isn't even so new, but what it is is a Ford um it was on a, it was actually on a ford not it wasn't a ford it was on a ford um f-350 and what the product is is uh, a set of um uh, receiver uh sockets two inch receivers that bolt on in place of your uh um your tow hooks in front and what that gives you is the versatility to uh, go out and um, attach, you know, like a front hitch or a winch or stuff like that to your tow hooks without having to dink around with a front hitch. Now these things, the front hitches, you have to oftentimes um, cut your fascia, you know, you know that plastic along the bottom there and it's a little inconvenient so what I was looking at the other night I saw this it was just you know these receivers bolted on and I'm looking at the Chevy this one here this is my uh, this is my big dually this is my uh, fun truck my work truck work and play truck I guess and what I discovered is where the tow hooks bolt in looks like almost a perfect fit for a two inch receiver so what I'm thinking about doing here is taking a length of two inch receiver and bolting it in there in place of that tow hook and what that'll gain me is the ability to put a winch on the front and it also allows me to transfer the winch to my flatbed trailer so I can winch stuff up on there if I want to. And it put the put a front hitch on it if I really wanted to, or a front uh, uh, carry all, you know, a, a, a platform to put stuff on. Because I do haul a truck camper around with this from time to time. And, you know, if I need extra storage space, then, you know, it's a pretty common thing to hang some of your junk off the front of the truck doesn't hurt to balance things out either anyway but, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull one of these uh, tow hooks off if not both of them and check out what kind of bolts we got going on here boy I have no idea how much of that I got if any but getting that out I discovered there was a third bolt I thought it was just held in by these two bolts on the side, but there's actually a third one. Casting extends back into the, the truck by several inches. So that's actually pretty good. I was thinking I was just held on by those two bolts, but no, that's that's perfect. I can just, if the two inch uh, receiver will fit in that hole there, we'll be good to go. All right, let's see what we get here. cross member there so what I'm going to have to do is basically what I'll just do is weld the plate on here <coughs> that extends back underneath the cross member Alright, so what I'll do is when I get my uh, real pieces, I'm not going to use, oh my god, I should return this one. Oh my god, this is just horrible. Man, 
and I bought this one from Harbor Freight. I don't know if you can see in there, but the welding, it looks like I welded it. Holy crap. Oh my god, look at those little pin. My god, that's a cold weld. Laying up on top. Looks like they had to restart the MIG welder six or seven times. There's well, pieces. There's a piece of wire hanging in there. Oh my God, that's that's just that's just stupid. Huh. Alrighty. Well, I ordered a couple of Kurt uh, receiver tubes off of Amazon, and I'll be getting those in here probably sometime this week. But I won't be able to work on it this week. Work's got me jumping, so it's gonna be a few days. Well, I'll keep you prized.